morning guys welcome back to my channel and i come to you from vancouver i am quite excited to be here actually i know i say that about every trip i do of course i'm excited to be in all these new places but the fact that i haven't been here before and i haven't been to canada in well over two years so it's quite good to be back and i'm quite glad to be back at christmas time because i think the fact that it is freezing cold outside i had a little taster of it between the airport and the hotel last night and it was freezing and it's supposed to snow today so it's going to make it feel very christmassy and there's so many christmas lights out in vancouver all across the neighborhoods all across the city it's looking so festive so i'm looking forward to getting out and just exploring what vancouver has to offer for the short time i'm here i'm only here 24 hours so i can't do a great deal because of course i need to come back and rest later as well before my flight home um but i'm looking forward to it i'm hoping to do some christmas shopping maybe go get some breakfast but i am a little bit worried because of how cold it was last night i imagine it's going to be just as cold today with it snowing i don't actually have a thick winter coat with me i didn't want to check in a suitcase for this trip because it's such a short trip it seemed silly to and i wanted to try and fit everything i could into my my cabin case so i just packed little layers lots of them and i do have like a fluffy gilet hat gloves scarf all of that jazz so i'm hoping that's enough to keep me warm because i don't want to you know limit my time outside because i'm cold i just want to kind of battle through it um, but i'm hoping shopping will kind of break up being you know cold outside and i can get inside for a bit of warmth every now and again um, but I am actually super tired because it's another eight hour time zone difference, just like Vegas was. And it's kind of tough bouncing between these time zones, like my home time zone and eight hours behind. It's really, really tough. I slept so well last night because I had a long day yesterday. Um, but I just woke up feeling groggy and almost like my hangover in Vegas. <laughs> Those of you that watch that will know. Um, but I just feel like really... I don't know like bedridden almost like i had a headache i've just taken some tablets it's just all these adjusting to time zones is really a challenge it's one of the biggest challenges being a ca being cabin crew um but i'm not going to let that stop me i will get out of bed in the next half an hour i vowed to myself i will get out of bed soon but yeah i'm gonna get myself dressed go get some breakfast and just try and wake up a little bit oh my god guys can you see i don't know if you can just about see it's snowing oh my god to see snow in december is just extra exciting i hate snow i'm not gonna lie i hate driving in snow i hate how cold it is but snow in december is a different kind of snow it's starting to settle on the rooftops like oh it's so christmasy i need to get out now so there isn't actually a full length mirror in this hotel room so to show you my outfit i'm gonna have to improvise uh, but basically i've got this giant oversized red jumper from PLT. This is like my go-to landing day jumper. I've worn it so many times. I probably need to get a few more colors, but it's so comfy. I think I got a size medium or large just to make it extra oversized. And it's, it's actually really thick. It was only like 15 pound. Um, underneath I've just got like a H&M thin jumper just for extra layers. I've got these black leather leggings on. So these are from Elle's Boutique. She's on TikTok and these were only like 10 pound. And I've had leather trousers before, but when I say these might be the best leather trousers slash leggings I've ever had, I am not lying. I've had to send so many of these style trousers back because they just don't fit. And these, oh my God, they're so comfy and they have like an extra layer underneath. So these are like extra warm. And um, plus I've popped a black beanie on and I've also got my fluffy gilet to put on which I'll put on now so I don't forget I've also got some gloves somewhere so like I've not got like the most layers on I probably look quite underdressed compared to some of the Canadians out there but we'll make it work that is so cool that on the mirror they have what the weather's like outside that is so cool love that so I'm currently at a restaurant called The Basic for breakfast and it's really nice because it's a big Canadian restaurant and I actually totally forgot how strict Canada is with COVID 
which is a very good thing. So I knew I had to bring my double vaccine card out, but they wanted a proof of ID to know that it's actually mine, which is so good to be fair. Um, luckily I had a scan of my driving license and passport, so they took that. Um, but yeah, I'm having some, um, in fact, a very English breakfast choice. I've got English breakfast tea, of course, and I've also ordered a plate called the, the Brit which I said I have to go for, I <laughs> didn't think I have to buy that. Um, so it's literally just an English breakfast, like full on um, fry up basically. So I'm looking forward to it and I'm really hungry and I've sat down and it's actually not as cold as I thought outside, which is good. <laughs> actually light up at night. I saw it when we were driving to the hotel and they all light up green and it's so pretty. I'll try and capture it later on when we leave the hotel when it's dark. This is exactly what keeps happening between going outside to inside. My glasses just totally fog up. Can't see a thing. Can't breathe because I'm just so out of breath from like walking up hills and I'm just unhealthy basically. I'm a total mess and I'm absolutely sweating my pants off because I thought it would be a fantastic idea to crank up the heating before I left so when I come back I'm nice and warm. However, when you're walking outside for long periods of time and you get used to the cold, when you come back inside to extreme heat you feel even more uncomfortable than you do out there so that was a mistake and I just feel a little bit like a drowned rat. My hair is, it's all right, but my hair's quite bad when it comes to the weather in the sense of when it's humid, it frizzes. When it rains, it frizzes. Anything really, it frizzes. Um, so it has frizzed and yeah, it just doesn't look good. But luckily it's not so bad because I'm just shutting up later for work. Anyway, I am going to show you a few bits of what I got on my little shopping spree just then. A lot of the things I bought I can't show you because they're Christmas presents and I'm a little bit concerned that it will be the only time that my family watch this video that they'll see their Christmas presents. I know for sure my mum does and I don't want to show you what I bought her. 
Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, keep it simple, just show you the bits that I got for me and that aren't Christmas presents. I got something from Abercrombie and Fitch, but yeah, that's a Christmas present, so that's going on the side over there. So the next place I went to was Bath and Body Works, obviously. The only reason I went out really and anything else was a bonus. Um, I'm gonna slowly pull out a present in here that is for someone that does watch my videos um, but basically I wanted to get some more sanitizers because my mum asked me for some I also wanted to see if the Canadian Bath and Body Works has any better deals and they did kind of actually so I ended up getting six sanitizers I ended up getting a load of different scents that I haven't smelt before so I think I might do a little scent testing segment here on my vlog. I haven't done one of those for a little while and I think it's about time we do one. And now we have six new scents to smell. I think it's the perfect time. The first one, I have to say, I have smelled before. And this one is actually for Vic. He absolutely loves this scent. And it has been literally like gold dust trying to find this particular scent. And that is... Atlantic. It is, oh my god, incredible. I haven't smelt it for a long time, so it's quite nice to have a, a refresh and just remember what it smells like. Divine. If I'm right, I think the rest of these are Christmas scents. So this next one is warm vanilla sugar. Have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of vanilla, but I know my mum is, so this probably isn't going to be for me. Um, vanilla and coconut are my two... Ugh. Ugh. I can't really smell that. I'm going to have to take a little dabble of that one. Sorry, Mum. Oh my god, I can't really say that smells of much other than just. Like, I don't even know. It's kind of there. But I literally, like completely attacked my sinuses the next one is again vanilla vanilla bean noel don't know why it's green these vanilla ones don't really have much of a scent did i make a mistake that one smells a little bit more of vanilla but again it's a no from me and this one is winter candy apple which i imagine i'm gonna really like yeah that's a bit of me no it would be i might have to nick that one we then have pure wonder which i have not seen before this is a very new scent um i don't think i've ever seen it in bath and body works before so I'm intrigued to smell this one. I thought I would just impulsively pick it up and we can smell it here. So hopefully we like it. That's quite nice actually. I do like that. What does that smell like? Delight in a sense of wonder with this clean blend of iced rose, star jasmine and warm white amber. That's why I like it because it smells like jasmine and i really do like jasmine last but not least i'm definitely not going to like this one i don't think because it is another vanilla i didn't even realize that i picked up this many vanilla scents but my mum won't be mad so this is a toasted vanilla chai what is it with these vanilla ones going right up my nose yeah i don't know the fact that i had to smell it so many times makes me think actually i don't think i like it But the last shop I went to was a souvenir shop, of course. As I've not been to Vancouver before, I don't have any souvenirs for Vancouver at home, and I had to get some. Um, I had loads of requests from other people as well. So I went to this souvenir shop called Canadian Crafts, and there was loads of cool stuff in there. Um, so I picked up this first shot glass for my collection because we had to get a Vancouver shot glass for my collection. So the first shot glass I saw and I had to have it. So it doesn't say Vancouver on it, but it is definitely related to Canada and it's just so unique. So here it is. It is. So it says Canada on the front, but what's unique about it is this. 
as that shot glass didn't have Vancouver on it, I had to get another shot glass that has Vancouver on it. And um, they had a not the biggest collection, um, but I'm quite happy with the shot glass I got once I get it out of the packaging. So it is this tall shot glass here. And it's very simple, but I like the height of it. I like these tall ones because they kind of stand out in my collection. And um, plus the leaves all metallic and cute too. So moving on to the key rings that I got. So I ended up getting two. One for Vic's family, just very simple there. I've got Vancouver and a few of the key features of Vancouver on there. And I also got my mum one, it's this Canadian leaf that has Vancouver in there too. And the final thing I got is a magnet for my mother-in-law. I get her magnets all the time. She has a full collection going now. And her favourite one, I think, is actually from Toronto. So I was trying to outdo Toronto, and I have been for ages, but I haven't been able to. Um, but I got, obviously, a Vancouver one. So here it is. She is very much like me. She likes for all of her magnets to have pretty much everything on there associated to that city. So she likes to have a really colourful full magnet full of everything from that city so i think that achieves it um but yeah that is everything i got on my shopping spree a hell of a lot got to try and fit it into my suitcase hopefully it's doable because everything i got is either able to be packed down or they're smaller items like this so hopefully shouldn't be an issue i'm very happy with everything i got everything on my shopping list that i wanted to get has been ticked off so i'm happy since being back in my hotel room, I'm having this really weird sort of episode of tiredness come over me. And this is the problem with jet lag. One minute you can feel so awake like I was when I was outside. The next minute you can feel so extremely exhausted where you're just sat there and your head's dropping, your eyes are closing because you're so tired. And I kind of feel that right now. So as much as I really want to go outside and have another walk, maybe go to a park or something, I just think I need to think about maybe just resting for the remainder of the day because I've only got four and a half hours or so until I need to start getting ready so it's not a crazy amount of time and I normally like to be in bed for at least three hours not necessarily sleeping but just kind of sat here resting and I think maybe doing that a bit earlier might do me the world of good and then I can get some food or something later if I'm feeling hungry so I don't know I'm just going to go with the flow I think it has been so long since I last spoke to you and that's not good. I'm really sorry about that. Basically, what happened after the last time you saw me was I got into bed ready to have a nap before the flight. Wasn't really feeling too hungry, so I didn't bother ordering any food. I just wanted to focus on sleeping. Did I get any sleep during those four hours? No, nope, of course I didn't. Just sat there tossing and turning and the longer I was led down, the worse I felt. Then I went to go and get ready for my flight and I just felt really funny. As in like I felt a little bit dizzy, I felt like I had a headache and I just felt, ugh, that's the only way I can describe it. So it wasn't good and I was a little bit worried um, that that was going to impact the flight and being ill on a flight is the worst thing in the entire world it feels like the longest flight of your life i have been ill on a flight before with heat stroke and oh my god it was oh it was awful and i was a bit worried that i was going to have a similar situation but i didn't luckily as i got busy on the flight as i was doing things i was distracted i wasn't really thinking about it then when it was between breaks i was on second break which meant i was on break closer to the end of the flight I powered through that, I drank lots of tea to get me through it and some water to hydrate and I took some painkillers as well, that all seemed to help. Then when I went on my break I slept like an absolute baby, nothing was budging me to wake up, not even turbulence. Normally the, the lumps and bumps during the flight with turbulence just kind of like wake me up a little bit but I go straight back to sleep. But yeah, this time I was told there was turbulence and I didn't wake up once. That was how tired I was. Um, so yeah, I all in all had pretty good flight. It went really quickly actually, which was good. 
and I'm now back home as you can see and I feel a whole lot better I just think I think the issue is for me is the transition between hot to cold and all these long flights it will just take a toll on you at some point and I think that's just how I'm feeling at the moment so I'm going to use my days off to just really rest and just look after myself a little bit I know I do that most blocks of days off anyway but this time I need to be extra nice to myself ready for my phoenix on Saturday which is exciting I've not been there before so that'll be the next vlog that you have to look forward to don't know what I'm going to get up to I don't know what there is to do I need to do a bit of research I'm going to speak to my crew when I see them and just suss out a plan to make the vlog good for you but anyway I think I'm going to leave it there because I need to go shower this grease out of my hair and hairspray and take my makeup off the spots on my face are ridiculous, so I need to have a good cleanse, all because of the face mask, it's doing my head in now. Um, so I need to get a good cleanse, good skincare routine, good hair care routine, and just cleanse from the flight. So I'm going to leave the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed my little outing in Vancouver. It was really nice, actually. I liked spending a bit of time by myself and doing what I wanted to do. Um, hopefully I'll go back there soon, maybe for a bit longer in the future, which would be nice. As always, don't forget to leave a like down below to let me know you enjoyed the video. Also leave a comment down below if you have been to Phoenix before and if you have any suggestions of things I should do on my trip. Have a great rest of your day, lovelies, and I will see you in my next video.